Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Right now we're going to spotlight the work of a talented individual most people are not familiar with, composer Leonard Rosenman. Over the course of his four-decade career, he composed music for dozens of film and television projects and won two Academy Awards in the process, but he never became as well known to the general public or even film buffs as his contemporaries such as Elmer Bernstein or Jerry Goldsmith. But Rosamund was highly regarded within the film industry and credited with breaking the mold of film composing by introducing avant-garde music and jazz to his scores. He died, by the way, in 2008 at the age of 83. Well, the first film in our salute to Rosamund is a great example of his unconventional approach to movie music. It's a movie called A Man Called Horse, released by National General Pictures in 1970, starring Richard Harris as a British aristocrat who goes on a hunting adventure in the American West and is ultimately captured by a Sioux raiding party and integrated into the Sioux culture. Well, in keeping with that theme, Leonard Rosenman's film score is a mix of drums and chants, Native American singers along with a traditional orchestra. It's also a score that's very much of its time. This was 1970 when the counterculture revolution was in full flower and having a major impact on all aspects of life and the arts in most parts of the world. So this film was so well received by audiences, it inspired a sequel, which also starred Richard Harris and was called Return of a Man Called Horse. But here from 1970, and with the cast, it also includes Dame Judith Anderson as a character named Buffalo Cowhead. And yeah, that's the same Judith Anderson who played Laurence Olivier's creepy housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers in the classic Hitchcock film, Rebecca. Quite a stretch from Mrs. Danvers to Buffalo Cowhead. But here with the music score by Leonard Rosenman, A Man Called Horse. Mm -hmm. 